And now we will learn how to set up your very first set of jobs in QuickBooks Online. If you have any questions about this topic, you can leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to help you. And of course, if you feel the video helped you, I hope you will click like and don't forget to subscribe to get updates on new videos that come out all the time. A job is a contract or project for a particular customer or client. The records for a job are like a subsection of the customer's records. You can have more than one job per client. For example, Tom has a contract or project with Brown Company to install a new heating system at 222 Hanson Place. But Tom also has a contract with Brown Company going on at the same time to replace all the pipes at 6161 Mockingbird Lane. And his third job will be for the other uh, customer Kirschbaum to renovate the heating and plumbing system at the Southwoods Road building that Kirschbaum owns. So let us set up the jobs under each customer's or client's records. To add a new customer in QuickBooks Online, go to the left panel, hit Sales, and then go down to Customers. You could see this is the very first time that we're coming to the new customer window, so they make you type in the name in this format here to signify that it's the first time. And we're going to type in Brown Company. Now, we can skip phone number and email and click Add Customer. And this is the way that it will look from this moment forward. From this moment forward, the Customer tab in the Sales area will look like this. And now we only have one. Now, this is the way it would normally look. If we click Customer, and then we come up and we click New Customer, this is the way, I'm going to click Don't Allow, this is the way it would look. And of course, you would put all the relevant information about the customer like you would if it were a customer in any type of company in any situation. So we already have Brown Company on the list. Now, when we add the two jobs for Brown Company, we'll add them the way we would normally add a customer, but we would choose sub-customer of Brown Company. So let's add uh, 222 Hanson Place as a job. You would click New Customer, and then you would put the name 222 Hanson Place. Now this next client, Kirschbaum, has one job that we're negotiating. It's the plumbing at the Southwood Roads building. So you would scroll up and click New. First you have to put Kirschbaum, the actual client, And of course, you'd put whatever else you would put. And then you would normally put their billing address and any other information you would need and click Save. Now, again, click Sales, Customers, and you can see how it's indented. Kirschbaum is a different client. Kirschbaum is not a sub job under Brown Company. Now, we'll click New Customer and put Southwoods Road Building. And the Southwood Roads Building is a sub-customer under Kirschbaum and click Save. Here you have a little summary and now when we click Sales, Customers, you can see that Southwood Roads, or at least the building in Southwoods Road, is under the Kirschbaum job, and these two are under the Brown Company job. And that's how you track your clients and the jobs that are current under your clients. Now you should be aware that in addition to the name, address, email, and all the other normal data that you would keep for jobs and clients,
You could also use the notes feature in the very same area. And the notes feature helps you remember important things about a client or a job. For example, let's put these reminders as notes so we can take a look at them as we do the job. Let's imagine Kirschbaum is allergic to peanuts and you have to be careful when you're around him because he's paying you a lot of money. So let's do this. Let's click Sales, go to Customers. Now go down to Kirschbaum, not the job on Southwood Road, Kirschbaum himself. And if you click, you get the information just about Kirschbaum that you put, and you can click Add Notes. Now, whatever you put here, okay, uh, I didn't type it in the right way, but okay, what you would do is you could put that there, and then you can click Edit and don't allow now notice there are notes here that you can that you can see right from the customer information window so just like you would put their name and address and website and email and cell phone and so on you would also put notes and anything else that would be associated with that particular customer that you could reopen this window and remind yourself of so let's click save What's the other one? Well, the Southwood Road job must have enough money for the tolls for the workers to come and do it. So what we do is we go back to sales, go back to customers. Now, this time we're going to go here and open the Southwood Roads job. And then, you know, you could click Add Notes here and then click Edit. Or you could click Edit and add the notes here. It's the same thing. Make sure you have toll money for workers.